They're packing up for the end of the tourism season in Cornwall, and for many people that means wondering how to make money through the winter. Here in Truro, like most other English cities, there are the usual signs of the collapse of the traditional high street. But on the edge of town, there's a different story. Plans have been agreed for a supermarket and housing on these fields, farming land owned by the Duchy of Cornwall. The Duchy points out that the development's worth $60 million to the local economy, will create 200 jobs, and will sell local produce to help the farming community. Yet all the same, thousands of people signed a petition against it. Discussions that he's recently held on, on greenfield sites and the need to look after small dairy farmers, the need to plant areas of wildflower meadow. He's done that around Highgrove, his beloved home in Gloucestershire, and you can't blame him for doing so. We'd love to see the same happen here. Much of Cornwall has been a duchy, meaning the property of the Duke, since the 14th century, but the current Duke of Cornwall, the Prince of Wales, has turned it into a massive business. He owns thousands of properties. He owns the coastlines, rivers and beaches. It's been reported he and the Queen will share the profits from gold discovered in the former tin mine. All of these things play very much into the parliamentary inquiry now being conducted into Prince Charles's power and influence, and indeed there are local and national ramifications for this. Prince Charles's empire, based here, may well be worth well over a billion dollars, but Cornwall is the poorest county in England. Not only that, but the prince doesn't pay any capital gains tax or corporation tax on any of his profits because it's all deemed to be a private enterprise. The future king has a particular view on architecture. His building projects are designed with heritage in mind. Again, the duchy points out that a proportion of these homes are designed specifically to help poorer local people through affordable housing. Yet the schemes have prompted criticism that more properties will end up in the possession of wealthy Londoners. The Duke of Cornwall is, is one of the wolves uh, circling Cornwall because the duchy is, is, for all intents and purposes, indistinguishable from any developer. I mean, any developer wants to bank land, to build houses, to make a profit. And the that's exactly what the duchy's doing. And if you die here without making a will, your money doesn't go to the state as elsewhere in England. It goes to the duchy. It's completely just private and you can't ask questions about it. It's not on websites, it's not like council spending or government spending, it's completely under the radar. Creating sustainable food systems. Supporters of the Prince of Wales say his views on environmentalism and local sustainability should be seen as a model for the future, that mainstream politicians have adopted many of his approaches over time and that he acts as an ambassador for Cornwall to the world. In the duchy, however, there remains a vocal body of opinion that continues to insist his business empire acts against the interests of local people. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Cornwall.